Is that at me? <laughs> Fuck bitches get money. Fuck bitches get money, there's money on bitches. Don't get it. I don't get it either. It's not really kept talk. It's like pussy whip talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah, fuck that shit. I agree with you. Fuck paying bitches. Yeah, yeah. Fuck bitches. Get money and give them to me. Word. What is that? It's called the Fireboy Press. And when you do it, it it's called the You're Making This Up. That's cool. Yeah. I have no care factor about what I'm even saying right now. It's just eating this. It doesn't taste anything like vanilla cream. Bananas don't taste like vanilla cream. <laughs> they don't taste like... <laughs> One would expect that vanilla ice cream would taste like vanilla. a banana twist to it. And every single bite, I eat with the utmost passion. Right. You're going to break the bowl one day, the plate. First of all, it's a plate. Yeah. Second of all, I already corrected myself before you corrected me. If I me. do break it, it just only displays the passion. Yeah, that you have for being a freak. Freak of nature. No, I would just say freak and end it there. Yeah, they do. So, <laughs> aren't they meant to be purple? They have the many kinds. Oh. This is the yellow. This is yellow they have purple one oh, too. Okay. And they got this one, like purple. They go, Are they sour or sweet? Uh, it's sour and sweet. It's yeah, both. but it's okay. the purple one. It's more sweet. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. But for dressings, I prefer this one because, like, uh, very tasty. You mm. know, mm. you don't need to eat any lamb juice. Green mangoes, dragon fruit, melons, mangosteens, mandarins, imported apples. That's Asian kale, in case you're wondering. I like my mango sweet. Sawadee cup? Oh, there's a big. Papaya. Sapodillas. Sapodilla. Mangoes everywhere. Oh, the smell of fish is really disgusting. I can't stand it. Mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Are they maggots? Yes. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Pomelo and jackfruit. Um, I can't say I've ever seen so many bananas before in one place. Here they are, 20 baht for a bag of little bananas that are ripe and ready to eat right now. Well, pretty much ripe. 20 baht is about 65 cents US. Wang Mei Market. Pineapples for days. Melons for days. Papayas for days.
says on that sign over there that there's seven baht. These are ten baht. Over there, that's one baht. So this is wholesale prices. Yeah, that's so cheap. How could you even fathom how cheap that is? If one Australian dollar is 30 baht, and that's one baht, that's like three cents. <laughs> so, it's pretty awesome here in Thailand. It's crazy. The signage is messy. Some places are smelly. <laughs> but the people are sweethearts here, and they grind really hard. Their hustle is on another level completely. And they really appreciate things in ways that we don't. And there's just so many nice people here. You meet people here that are just, they just remind you that, that you can't take life for granted. And the things that we ha are blessed to have in the Western, in the Western world, you just cannot take them for granted after coming to Thailand anymore. It's illegal. Samui? Yes. Did we? I'm just going to move. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay, hey, cool. Anything new coming up? Or? No. no, we haven't. Nothing? Nothing really. Nothing new but the moon. Is it getting cloudy again? Yeah, I think it is because I can see the moon hiding behind the clouds over there. Yeah. I thought it'll rain again. Oh, there's a man over there. Now, next door they used to have a big party. Here at Buddy, they used to have a party, but I don't know where they're coming. Okay. Yeah. Well, well, we're happy uh, just sitting here. Yeah, we're just going to chill. Nice? Just yeah. Here, yeah. So. evening because honestly I would have been up there partying it's not the moon but yeah um, the rain the is weather. gonna come and go and it's supposed to rain for three days so I don't know. oh wow I just ate a spa salad so I'm a fat cat <laughs> big fat uh, we got fat earlier we ate a whole bunch of good stuff I've been eating all day though yeah, yeah it's so yeah, awesome yeah. here do, have you heard have, have you heard about the restaurant being one of the top 50 restaurants in the world this is, yeah. it, it is it's one of the best that's so epic that we booked this by fluke. Yeah. It's a really good, it's well known. I mean, there's some good restaurants too, but this is quite known. Wow. And yeah. everything is fresh. Yeah, you can tell it's fresh and organic. And I mean, every time we've eaten here, we just can't believe Blown how good away. the food is. Yeah, yeah. It's really good. And it's all good stuff. Um, it's really good stuff. Um, it is now 10.06 a.m. There's a waterfall just here. Uh, can't really see it. I have to walk all the way over there, but it runs literally next to our mountain view villa. So at night we just hear it constantly running. It sounds oh so peaceful. It's just like a rough surface and you peel that off and you eat the inside. In Thailand they call this jampada. They actually took the flavor from jackfruit and put them in the juicy fruit chewing gum. So when you're eating juicy fruit, this is where they got the flavor from. And there it is. <laughs> Looks like I've got cheese all over my fingers already. This is just beautiful. Long Kongs. These are a bit like Logans or Longans is what they call them here in Thailand. Um, but these have a bitter taste to them and they actually have more of that jelly flesh inside. Okay, we have organic bananas here. We have rambutans on the left and mangosteens on the right. Um, these are probably one of my favorite fruits. It's just another, another level. And here you have these pods. They kind of look like garlic, but they taste like lemonade. 
they're so sweet and delicious the big ones have the seed in them these ones here are completely edible amazing we had nothing but mango stains for lunch and I fell on top of the world that was like one of the best meals I've ever had in my life there is no such thing as littering whenever I eat my food I just I just put it back where it came from on the seeds as well so hopefully a mango steam tree will grow alright uh, we're at the Big C shopping center I just wanted to show these different coconuts they have here in Thailand Koh Samui they have these baby coconuts I think they call them burns and I think it's because they burn them they cooked them a little bit tried several in Phuket and these are normal coconuts 21 baht which is less than one dollar 30 baht is one Australian dollar insane they have all these fruit juices over here we've got bananas pineapples melons papayas durians cut up and we've got green mangoes over there options yellow mangoes mango steens dragon fruits here in Thailand they like to add these little you know like sugar and spices and these are pomelos these are actually delicious options in Koh Samui Thailand in the conventional shopping centers Look like they've been through a nuclear war. I would say that is going to be off the chain, and that right there is going to be off the chain. Can you see the color on that? Yesterday I harvested my, my first coconut. I harvested two actually, and they didn't taste very good, but I harvested two coconuts, and that was really fun. I just thought it would be awesome to drink my own harvested coconuts while I'm doing this coconut water fast on day four, coconut and wheatgrass. 14 wheatgrass shots a day, seven for breakfast, seven for dinner, as many coconuts as my heart desires throughout the day, and I feel fantastic. That's what's up here in Thailand. Mountain View Villa. Living it up. Much love to everybody watching this. There's a butterfly flying over there. You are gorgeous. Little fat little toad. Hi, Froggy. I think he's fat, and I think that he's chilling. He hasn't even blinked. Playing dead, so I won't attack and eat him. But I'm not out here to kill you, buddy. Full vegs, bro. I'm full natty. <laughs> Kings and queens were living, you know, lavishly and having, they used to sew different animals together and that was their diet. It was just basically a load of animals, eggs, cheese, things like that. So I just imagine like a chicken's body sewn with like to, the head yeah. of a baby goat. Yeah, they used to do that. It was like a delicacy because the, the more animals you could put together, the more prestige you were. And... Or sadistic. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. Depends how you look at it.